Well, 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 the ape king is back. The messiah of the memers, some may call him. Roaring kitty, screaming beep, is back. What's up, parent friends? Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we're discussing GME and where do I see GME heading from here on out. Now, GME has had a banger of a day up approximately 14% and it will likely go ahead to test on these 32 levels. But where is the stock headed from here on out? Now, GME has actually been on quite an uptrend recently, right? After bottoming, bottoming out at approximately, you know, $20 in the recent, um, in the recent crash after it came off of all, all that, you know, the most recent um, roaring kitty talks and everything like that over here, right? This is where it exactly went down. It went all the way up to 64. Then it crashed and it held the $20 levels pretty solidly. And now it's back above $30 again, okay? But where is this ticker headed from here on out is the question which we're going to be answering. As always, in order to understand where a ticker is headed, we first need to analyze what has caused this stock to get to where it's at right now. In the case of this ticker, what did we get today? Well, we got our friend Roaring Kitty posting a very, very cryptic message once again, as always, right? As always, he remains cryptic, okay? So what did he do? What was this tweet that he posted, okay? When we go over here, right, let me just um, do this by new. We got tools, recent, past hour only. There we go. There we go. And look at exactly what the, <laughs> look at um, look at what the topic of it says. It says uh, classic meme stock source. Ah, it's loading now. Great, great, great. Classic meme stock pop on cryptic tweet from Roaring Kitty. This is exactly what I was talking about, right? So this is exactly what he tweeted. I just wanted us to get it. it there we go. This is what I wanted us to get. Um, so as you guys can see, this is what he tweeted. Okay, time with a little bit of time left. All right. Now this is actually this is actually related to this is actually from here. Okay, it's actually from here. Right, it's actually from um, the Time Magazine, right, back in the day, where it, it said, person of the year, you, yes, you, you control the information age, welcome to your world, right, however, he posted this version of it, all right, no you, nothing, maybe GME goes here, maybe he's going to be on cover of Time Magazine, like, there's a lot of things which comes to mind, which is just, very confusing right it's it's very very confusing but regardless let's get to ranking okay the breaking news the breaking news we're gonna put it as good why Be and i know what you guys are saying right sam it does nothing it does nothing for the stock it fundamentally does nothing for the stock you guys need to understand why you're holding certain tickers okay you need to think about hey why am i holding certain tickers am i holding them because of the fundamentals of the company? Am I holding them because of their short squeeze probability? Am I holding them because potential buyout news? Why am I holding a given stock? If you're holding GME for the fundamentals, you're fucking stupid, all right? You're, you're dumb, it's true, it's okay. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, all right? But you're dumb. If you're holding GME for buyout rumors, you're also just, you're, you're freaking, you have schizophrenia, okay? I have, you're, I have no idea why you would think someone's buying out this company. But if you're holding the stock because of its potential short squeeze, then you could be on the right track. You're right. You're right because it could. And what is the perfect news that aligns with the vision which you have for the stock, which is a short squeeze? What is it? I'll tell you what it is. Mr. Roaring Kitty, once again, returning. This is why the breaking news is good. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of a finance financial check on GME. Does the company have money? Does the company not have money? The company has money. Okay, the company has 663 months of cash left on hand, considering the last time they rug pulled their investors. So we're going to put this as great. I, I don't think they're going to rug pull. Okay, this time at least, not yet. The chart, the chart looks okay. It is above 30 bucks, but it's not above 32. The 32 level is very important. It's squeezability. We're gonna put it as good, okay? Because although it does have a low, it does have a high float, right? When we go over here, look at the float of the stock, right? Four hundred and eight million float, right? Although it does have a four hundred eight million float, it is fucking GME, okay? So it can, if it gets going, it can get going, and nothing can hold it back. It went around from nine bucks to sixty bucks. So 
it can actually squeeze very hard. And their financials, I already showed you guys, they have 600 months of cash left on hand. So this is great as well. So overall though, would I buy this stock? I would average into it. I'll buy it slowly, okay? I'll buy it slowly. If you guys wanna trade alongside me though, every single day, I got good news for you. Our Discord comes with a seven day free trial and a 30 days money back guarantee. And right now, the next 10 people that join get access to it for a 50% discount. Think about that. What does the Discord look like? This is what the Discord look like, looks like. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Let me show you guys. So first of all, we have day trade alerts. We have swing alerts. We have option alerts. We have crypto alerts. We have small account challenge going on. We have courses. We have it all. Okay, we have one-on-one -on -one access. And we have almost 400 members coming back month after month why are 400 members coming back month after month because they're making money nobody keeps coming back guys if they're not making money i don't know about you but you know it's just it's just how things go okay people don't keep coming back to a community which comes with a seven day free trial and a 30 days money back guarantee if they're not making money what i would do personally i'll tell you what i would do okay i would join for the first seven days see if i make money or not if i don't make money I'll pack my bags and I'll leave and I'll never look back. Okay. That's what I would do. But again, there's a reason why we have over 300 members, almost 400. Before joining Top Shark Academy Monday, I've been negative 12K this year. What are we going to do? Very thankful I did. Definitely keep you my membership. Bam. Thank you for the alert on DD today, guys. Tomorrow marks the end of my seven day free trial. Overall gain so far. My first ever gain joined Top Shark Academy. And I'm glad I saw your YouTube channel. Shout out, my man. Wise world. Hi, Sam. Thank you for your hard work on all the community. My seven day free trial finished. It was great. I think you can afford the membership after this week. 7K in seven days. Give it a shot. The one thing I can assure you of and guarantee is that it's worth the seven day free trial, especially right now that when the next 10 people that join, they get access to it for a 50% discount. I'm telling you, give it a shot. Go on the website, scroll to the bottom, see my win rate ratio, everything like that. And um, try it out, okay? With that said, my friends, I wish you guys the best of luck, whether it's in trading or your life. Thank you for watching. Your boy Sam from Top Academy.